Hello everyone, it's Emily here and today I am doing my July weeding wrap up slash my August TBR. I'm combining the two this month so that way my August TBR is out of the way and I don't have to worry about it during vlog every day August which you can still sign up for by the way. I will leave the link down below in the doobly doo and it's gonna be a really good time and the topics calendar is already up and I know we're gonna be bringing the participant out list soon and it's gonna be awesome. So you should all sign up because it's gonna be really, really fun. All right, so I pretty much stuck to my July TBR but I also kind of went away from it a little bit. And so I read All the Light We Cannot See, which was good. I enjoyed it. But I also feel like I didn't enjoy it as much as like you're supposed to enjoy a Pulitzer Prize winning book. And I kind of feel bad about it. But at the same time, I don't feel bad about it. But I did enjoy it. I gave it three out of five stars on Goodreads. And I don't want people to think that three stars is a bad rating. Because it's not a bad rating. Because I did enjoy it. But I wasn't like, oh my gosh, best book ever either. I also read Proven Guilty by Jim Butcher, which was awesome. I didn't think that this book was going to top the last one in the Dresden Files series. But it was still really good. And I love, I just love the Dresden Files. And I don't understand why more people on BookTube don't talk about the Dresden Files. Like, am I just really that late to the party? Because he still has books coming out. So you'd think that people would still be talking about, like, the books that are coming out. So I don't, I don't understand. Go read Dresden Files. He's a wizard in Chicago. And I read Stardust by Neil Gaiman, which was so lovely. I just love Neil Gaiman's books. This book was fantastic and I watched the movie right after. The movie was awesome too and I loved it. I loved it so much. And also did you know the audiobook? At least the one that I got from my library it was narrated by Neil Gaiman and so that's awesome. And I read The Night We Said Yes. This was the book I got from my Owl Crate and I just decided I really wanted to read it right away. I read this like in one day. It was a super short read. I gave it three out of five stars on Goodreads. It probably should be more like three and a half, but this was really, really cute. Like if you just want a light YA friendship romance book, pick this. So I pre-ordered Queen of Midnight, the next book in the Throne of Glass series, which then of course meant I had to reread the series. So I reread The Throne of Glass. I would show it to you, but a friend of mine is borrowing it. It also meant I reread Crown of Midnight, which I also finished in like a day or two. I just really love this series so much. And I reread Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. And just, ah, uh, this series, <laughs> you, you know, I, you know, I love Harry Potter. And I read The Handmaid's Tale, which the book discussion for that for my book club will be up tomorrow. Now, on to my currently. Right now, I am reading Wild by Cheryl Strayed. It took me a while to get started on this, but I said I would start reading it, and I started to read it. And I am reading Onyx, which is the second book in the Lux series. I read the first one, and Obsidian, and it was good. I liked it. I don't know why it took me so long to read the second one. So I started reading Onyx this week. Okay, so now my August TBR list. Now, some of these books are going to be for the book Tubathon, which is happening next week, which I think I'm going to try to attempt, even though Vita is starting. But I'm going to try and, like, add the book Tubathon things at the end of my Vita videos. We'll see how it goes. But I will explain more why I'm reading certain books when I get to my book Tubathon TBR. So... Just disclaimer. So for August, I plan on reading Death of a Salesman by Arthur Miller, Angel Virgin of the Old Dominion by Nick Hoynes, More Happy Than Not by Adam Silvera, Hector and the Search for Happiness. I can't pronounce the author's name, so I will write it here. And that is the book that was picked for my book club for this month, and that discussion will go up at the end of August. The Little Paris Bookshop by Nina George, which I saw randomly at Barnes & Noble, and it looked so adorable. It's about a guy who runs a little bookshop on the river 
in Paris. But basically, he prescribes books for what other people have a need for. It's like they come into the bookshop, and he just knows what book they need in his life. And he just, like, gives it to them. So I have it on hold at the library. We're we reading The Assassin's Blade by Sarah J. Maas. And Air of Fire by Sarah J. Maas. Okay, do you say it Maas or Mass? I've heard people say it both ways. And I had a friend in college who had the same last name, and she pronounced it Maas. But some people pronounce it Mass, and I don't know... But yeah, I'm just going to reread these before the next book comes out. And if I get it for the library, I'll be reading White Knight by Jim Butcher as well. And I know there's still a few other books I think I have to pick for the book Tubathon that I just haven't picked out yet. But I'll go more into that in that video. So yeah, that was my attempt to keep this as a really short July wrap up and August TBR. So hopefully I kept this kind of short. I'm sorry if it was really brief and I didn't explain much, but I'll explain more in the booktube on TBR, hopefully. So I love your faces and I will see you later. Bye!